Hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. All of this was recorded live on our Twitch stream. You can check us out at twitch.tv slash LFLiesMike. In tight lines, hopefully you have a great season out there on the water. We're going for some pickerel, largemouth crappie. A couple of my buddies have been out fishing and uh, the fish are starting to bite like crazy, especially the uh, largemouth. So we're uh, hopefully gonna get some more species than usual, not just pickerel, but I'll take anything. I haven't caught a fish in a couple weeks. Yeah, I get some really weird scam calls recently. I don't know what, what their goal is, but the bad thing is there are people that actually fall for it, you know? That's why I love channels like Kip Boga, where he does all his scam baiting, because, uh, what do you call it? Unfortunately, there are people out there that maybe are a little bit older or something, and they don't realize. And uh, I guess there's a reason why they keep calling, because people actually do fall for the scam every once in a while, you know? Oh, we just had a fish. We got one right behind it right now. I don't know if you can see that, but look. Oh, fuck. I pulled it out of its mouth. There was a wake on top of the water. Now, if they didn't feel the hook, they'll probably come back for it. I don't think it was a big one. I think it was a smaller pickerel, but usually the big ones, when they go for it, they go for it. They either eat it or they don't. Let's see. That's why I like keeping the camera this way, so you guys can actually see the, uh, the takes on top of the water. Oh, there we go. Yep, no, that's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a bigger pickerel right there. Oh yeah. That's a decent fish right there. Probably about twice the size of the last one we had. It's not a world record, but I'll take it. Probably around 18, 19 inches. I'm gonna wet my hand so I don't pull their protective slime off. Watch his mouth. Got a nice pickle right here. Just gonna pop that hook out, put it back in the water. Back to you, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> trying to find larger fish. We had one fish that was almost 20 inches, that's a pretty good size pickerel, but we're looking for something bigger than that, really. There you go. That's a good fish right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smashed it. That's a good fish. Yeah. It's not huge, but it's got a... Putting a good bend in the rod, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I think it's a pickerel. I haven't even seen it come up to the surface yet. It's staying low. Whoa, look, he's turning the kayak. Oh, it's a nice pickerel. Hell yeah. Woo. This one's over 20 inches. Hell yeah. This is a good one, chat. This is a big one. Yeah, baby. Take a look at that one, huh? That's a nice pickerel right there. But I'm gonna put them in the water. I'm gonna get my pliers. I gotta use my forceps to get the, uh, the hook out. Come on, there we go. Ooh, baby! <laughs> Ooh, 
baby. Right off the bank too. That fish came up and smacked it. Again, we're using a, a pretty large black and purple game changer here. Oh, yes, nice fish, nice fish. Yo, yo, yo. Big pickerel, big pickerel. Nice fish, chat, nice fish. He's green too. Oh yeah. Good, good size fish, chat. Check them out. That is a nice pickerel right there. Get the hook out of him. Hell yeah. Good fish. Oh, this fly fouled on us. Probably from a sloppy cast. We'll fix that real quick. Good to go. Yeah, check out this uh, squimpish hollow. It's beautiful. Hopefully you're having a great, great weekend. How's it going, Jen? What have you been up to, man? You're tying some flies. Nice. Yeah, we're out trying to catch some pickerel. We're gonna try out a squimpish hollow first and then we'll switch to a game changer. Game changer almost always does the trick. Oh, there you go, we got a fish on. Pickerel. Oh, it's a feisty one, mamma mia. Hey, oh, decent sized pickerel. Kind of swallowed this fly. We're gonna have to get the fly out. I'm gonna have to stick my finger in his mouth. I'm not a fan of it, but. <sighs> Hold on. Ow, don't try and bite me. I'm trying to get the hook out, you bugger. There you go. Be free, my child. Woo! Well, my finger's gonna be all cut up, but not bad, first fish of the day. Pickerel on the squimpish hollow. Wasn't too big, but I'll take it. Driving the old Suburban again. Pitmobile. Should put a bed in the back of that thing. Let's go sleep on the beach, do fly fishing. Drive out to Montauk. Go pick up some girls at the bar. Hey, you wanna come back to my fly shack? Oh, there you go, that's a fish. Little pickerel. Nothing really big. Little guy. Hey girls, you wanna come back to my fly shack and watch my Twitch highlights with me? In the old Suburban. Oh, it's a little pickerel, dude. Look at the size of this pickerel. He's teeny guy. Look at the size of the fly he ate, too. Little guy. Let's put him in the water. I gotta get the hook out. I don't know how he even ate this thing. The fly's bigger than he is. There you go, little guy. Come back when you're like five pounds bigger, please. It's a little pickerel. That's like a baby right there. I tell you what, that fly was literally probably only about <laughs> an inch shorter than the fish. <laughs> he ain't gonna fly this size. It goes to show how aggressive these things are. They're great. I love them. I'm gonna roll a cigarette real quick. Man, this is gorgeous, being out on the water like this. It's like a perfect day, you know? Get that pickerel slime off me first. Slimy little buggers. 